I'm going to prove that this expression here is always even. I'm talking about this one here. So what I'm going to do is expand. Then this bit over here. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Uh, simplify. 7n take away 3n is 4n. And then you just got the numbers. 14 take away 12 is 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to factorize this. Uh, obviously 2 goes into 4 and 2, so 2 goes on the outside. 2 times something to give me 4n. It's obviously 2n. And then 2 times something to give me 2. And I did say here, anything that is a multiple of two, anything that is a multiple of two have, will be an even number. Well, here, you've got a multiple of two. So anything that goes inside the bracket times by two will be, by definition, an even number. Okay, so that's, that's the proof. Next one. I need to prove that this expression here is odd. So I need to expand the brackets. Right, there's double brackets there. Don't forget the plus one at the end. And this minus over here, that one there. Right, expand the brackets. n times n is n squared. n times one, one n. One times n, 1n and then 1 times 1 is just 1. Right, don't don't worry about this negative for now. Uh, we'll come back to it later. Right, this bit over here is n squared. n times negative 1 is negative 1n. Negative 1 times n is negative n. And negative 1 times negative 1 makes a positive 1. Right, don't forget you got a plus 1 at the end. This negative, I put it here, but that negative applies to everything here. That negative will change, that negative will change negative to positive, positive to negative, right? Let me just rewrite this again. So that's n squared plus n plus n. All right, hold on a second. I'm gonna simplify this. So that's n squared. n plus n is 2n plus one. Remember, everything that I did here, everything that I did in here is surrounded by this bracket. All right, so we've got minus n squared, minus and minus makes a plus, that's plus n, minus and minus makes a plus, that's plus n, and then that plus here, that minus and plus will become a minus. Then you got the one there, plus one. Right, we can at this stage simplify this. Look, n plus n over here. n plus n is 2n. Right, let's simplify the whole thing now. n squared take away n squared. They cancel out. 2n, you got the 2n plus 2n makes a 4n. What else, what else have we got? We've got one, take away one is zero, add the one, plus one. Now that bit there, over here, uh, we're gonna factor out the two. So that'll be, that'll change to that. Right? Two times two n is still four n. Don't forget the plus one. Right, I've shown over here, Anything that's multiplied by two, anything that's a multiple of two plus the one is odd. So anything, look, anything that's a multiple of two plus one will automatically be odd. Last question here. Uh, need to prove that this is odd. It's a nice thing that I've got a plus, I've got a positive in between the double brackets. Here, add a minus, so that minus affected all the other signs. So I'm not gonna have the same issue. All right, let's expand this now. 
n times 2n is 2n squared n times 1 is 1n 3 times 2n 6n and then 3 times 1 is 3 n times 2n is 2n squared n times 1 is n minus 2 times 2n is minus 4n minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 don't forget there's a plus sign if that was a negative if that was a negative that would have effect, affected all the signs while I was expanding the brackets right. so 2n squared plus 2n squared that makes 4n squared I got 1n plus 6n plus 1n minus 4n right, let's see what that makes 1n plus 6n makes 7n 7n plus 1n is 8n 8n take away 4n is just 4n and I've just got the numbers left over now uh, 3 take away 2 is 1 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make it look something like this something like that so if I look at this bit over here I'm just going to factor out the 2 I'm not going to do a full factorization right this is not going to be a full factorization just a partial factorization so just factor out the 2 2 times something will be 4n squared that'll be uh, 2n squared 2 times something will be 4n that'll just be 2n and don't forget you got the plus 1 at the end now obviously this thing here does look something like this where you've got a multiple of 2 plus 1 see here you've got a multiple of 2 so anything that goes in the bracket doesn't matter what goes in the bracket you've got a times by 2 so anything multiplied by 2 is an even number but when you add 1 that makes it odd 